Hello, today we are going to be making a super simple ice cream slice. Let's check out the ingredients you'll need. Now, how simple is this? So we have one tin of condensed milk. We have 600 mils of thickened cream. And we've got two packs of the Malto milk biscuits. Now they're just malt biscuits. Um, so that's 250 grams for that. I think there's a couple will be left over, but you do use that for top and bottom for the slice. And here I have 190 grams of Maltesers. Now you can use any kind of filling or just no filling if you like. So now that we've seen how simple this looks with our ingredients, let's give it a go. Our first step is to crush the Maltesers. So what I'm doing is a simple way. I'm gonna put them in a bag and give them a bit of a, a bash with the, the, meat, the meat hammer. And um, you can use anything now. A lot of people have blenders or ninjas, ninja bullets or something like that. But I figured let's just use something simple that majority of people will have. the Maltesers into the bag. Let the air out. This will be a bit noisy, but you just wanna, see? Break them up. Right I'm gonna go through and do all of these. There we go. And that's your Maltesers ready for going in your slice. Now we are going to prepare the biscuits in the pan. Now you can choose what size pan you want to use. We use a long, uh, thinner pan, um, so the ice cream's a bit thinner and it goes <laughs> a bit further how many pieces you can do. Or if you want a nice, thick ice cream sandwich, then use a, a smaller square pan or plastic container, as long as it can go in the freezer. Okay, let's do this. Now I've put baking paper in the bottom. It generally doesn't stick, but I just thought, why not? You start lining your pan with your biscuits. Get them in there. And this is how they will line up for your slice. Make an ice cream sandwich. There we go. I'll keep doing these ones. So now that I've got the biscuits in the tin ready to go, you can see that here, look at that. <laughs> um, so now let's get going on making the, the ice cream part of the slice. So we start by whipping the cream. Now you want that to go to firm um, and once that's done then we'll add the condensed milk. How simple does that sound? Let's do it. Time to add 600 ml of cream to your bowl and get your mixers out. Now if you've got a mixing bowl or any other means that you use for whipping then use that. Look at that. Make sure that's all in there and now let's go. Oops. a little see if they'll stand there and sweetened condensed milk one tin oh look at that now I know this is one of Adam's favorite things and I'm talking about the condensed milk and maybe the ice cream slice it's really interesting um, the first time I made this a friend of mine shared it on Facebook and this would have been about eight nine maybe ten years ago I'm not really sure 
and I made it and I took it up to Adam's place and to his family. We weren't living together back then and um, they absolutely loved it. I know his mum started making it a fair bit and also my cousin, her family, her extended family, they all absolutely love this recipe because it's so simple. It's just a simple, easy recipe. I can't, can I say simple any more time? So I'm not sure. Now you can mix it or fold it. I might just give it a quick mix. That way you can ensure that it's all mixed in. Now I will confess that I don't have this written down anywhere. Um, not the ingredients, not the method, nothing. <laughs> um, because we do make it a lot. So hopefully I've gotten it right. This is just a quick little fun treat that anyone can make. Now look at that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fold through the Maltesers which are just sitting there to the right of cam. Do, 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 do. Now we've tried this with crunchy, um, different honeycombs, Kit Kats, Jaffers, all sorts of different things. And we've used coffee flavored condensed milk. I think that's what it's called. Caramel, anything you like. You can, use, you can literally use anything, but I will tell you right now, this is the favorite, the Malteser. So that's all folded nicely now. So I'm going to go get the biscuits that are in the tray. Let's put this in and we're nearly done. Okay, so I'm just going to go get the biscuits. And we'll pop that down there. Okay, so now we need to pour the ice cream onto the biscuits and then put the biscuits on the top. I'm not sure why I'm holding the bowl so awkwardly. Can you see that? Um, so I am using a bit of a bigger pan to what we usually use. Excuse me. Um, I just realized. So we're two biscuits too short. So what I did is I grabbed some other little biscuits we've got there. Now, please bear in mind, you can use whatever biscuits you want as well, because it's basically making an ice cream sandwich. It doesn't matter if it leaks through or anything like that. So can you see that? Spread it in. This is probably the most simple thing you will ever make that is delicious. And it is a favorite at every event. And I know some of my family actually choose this over a birthday cake or birthday treat or anything. And they'll be like, I will come to your party if you have ice cream slice. <laughs> okay. So I'll move that out of the way. You guys can check that out. That is nearly finished. So what we'll do now, is if I can get that onto camera, is we'll start putting the biscuits on top and then we'll pop them in the freezer. So I'm just going to do this. Hopefully we'll speed it up a little. There we go. Well, we've gotten to the end here and for some unknown reason, I'm three short. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. But, needless to say, that's a broken biscuit. I'm just gonna go and grab... <laughs> I'm just wondering, Archer just wandered past here. I think he might have stole a biscuit. That's okay. Oh, some of these little biscuits. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just use those instead. Just quickly pop something on. It doesn't really matter, because the biscuits go soft so you can cut through them, so you don't have to have a larger slice. 
These are little caramelized biscuits. <laughs> so that's going to add some extra flavor. Now look at that guys. Done. That's all it is. Doesn't matter about the end bit. That's still delicious. Everyone likes the end bit because you get a bit extra. Um, so sometimes we use it in the sealable containers so that you can easily put that into your freezer. But I'm going to pop this into the freezer now. Now you can pop it in overnight, but it can three to six hours to firm up or we generally just leave it overnight so you can get that really nice yummy ice cream sandwich. There we go. So there you have it. <laughs> Let's move this a little bit. That's in the freezer now. And like I said, super simple. And that's, that's what I was trying to show. Just a few really simple, easy, fun things the kids can get involved with and you can just have a bit of fun and choose your own path in what you want to do, what you want to add. We use Maltesers because that's the favorite and it's super yummy. So please give it a go. And thank you so much to everyone who was following our vanilla slice recipe for all the photos we're getting sent in. Appreciate that. So yeah, thanks. And if you do make this, tag us in the photos, let us know how you go, tell us what ingredients you added. Did you add Maltesers, Kit Kats, honeycomb, licorice, lollies? What did you add? So anyway, thanks guys, and please like and subscribe. Well, it's been a couple of hours since I put the ice cream slice in the freezer, and I've just checked it, and it seems pretty solid. So instead of waiting overnight, I'm actually gonna try and cut it now and see how it is. Um, I've just um, gone and picked Xander up from school and he doesn't know what I'm doing so he's gonna taste test it and I'll call Adam as well and hopefully it all goes well so I'm just gonna get it out of the freezer now and cut it for you guys so you can have a look and that's what I mean it is such a simple quick thing to do so let's grab it out of the freezer there we go <laughs> Time to cut it up, cut it into pieces. Now, like I said, the biscuits go soft so you can cut through them, but it is going to be a bit softer than what it would be if you left it in overnight. But, so I'm only gonna cut a few out. And as soon as I've done this, I'm gonna call Adam <laughs> and we'll um, give it a bit of a taste test, hey? Can you see that while I'm cutting it? Now I've put the baking paper on the bottom, so I have to be careful I don't cut right through that as well. Oops. Oh no, that biscuit was already broken, wasn't it? But it doesn't matter. I'm going to cut a few of those up. Now it's definitely not properly set, so I might have jumped the gun a little bit here. But I'll grab some out if I can. So I can show you how beautiful that looks. So, ice cream slice, but it's a little ice cream sandwich. Does it look good to you? Because I tell you what, it is delicious when you try it. So I'm just going to get a couple of pieces out here. And then I'm going to phone... Oh, here we go. I'll do this. Look at that. So I'm just going to put a couple of slices here and then pop the rest of it back in the freezer. Oops, that's not enough. <laughs> And how many, how many people have we got? I might put five bits out, like this. And I'm going to call the, the taste testers. And there you go. Beautiful. Look at that. How does that look? <laughs> What's going on, boys? Um, uh... <gasps> What's this? Yay! And what's in it? Maltesers. Oh, do you want to try some? Okay, yep. Did you want to try a little bit? No. Yeah, he sometimes got ice cream. Is it good? Is it yummy? Oh, you're broken in half already. Daddy's going to have a go. What about you, Nana? Come on, grab a bit. Mm. <laughs> Taste testing. Mm. You haven't done your hair today? I'll brush my hair today. Oh. That's all right. Your head's not in your shot. That's good. <laughs> grab a bit. It's a bit soft still. It's still a bit soft. Doesn't matter. I love my life so much. Mm. So, mm. I don't usually try it on camera. How yeah, good is it? Please, Nana. Mm. Can I have a plate? You can use that one. Okay. You say, can I have a plate, please? <laughs> so, Xander, what do you think? 
good. It's good? Is it only good? Mm, it's my favourite. It's your favourite? Oh, can't, can't talk eating. <laughs> so, I this don't know who here, he gets that off. So whilst they're trying it, I'm going to finish my bit off camera. This, like I said, this is super simple and you can add whatever you like. Um, Jaffa's, chocolate. You've added some different stuff over the time, haven't you? Kahlua. Kahlua, yeah, honeycomb of some sort. And blue stuff. Right. And blue, yes, we have added. He loves blue. Rum and so raisin. Can, yeah, so you can, and the With options. Rum. <laughs> the options are endless. So give it a try and let us know if you do. And tag us on Instagram or Facebook, and we'd love to see it. So mm. there you go. Thank you so much. It's so good. You good? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye. Mm. Say bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs>